I was on a Mega Drive machine uh, worm team when we had uh, that competition. Uh, we got second to last place. So, but uh, other than that, I have an internship helping out with the Saginaw Urban Food Initiative, which is tied with the Green Cardinal Initiative. Uh, my role in the Green Cardinal Initiative is uh, executive board member, uh, one of the original uh, founding forefathers of the uh, Green Cardinal Initiative, myself, Brian Thomas, and uh, Chris Schoen. And I'm also director out at the uh, Saginaw Valley State University Greenhouses. So I've got to see uh, them all the way from when I was a technician there to when I was a manager, uh, till now being the director. So I've been really proud of the achievements that we've made thus far. My job out here, I'm hired in as a greenhouse assistant. Um, I, I'm in charge of the vermiculture out here. I take care of the worms, build hydroponic units. I. I help out in the greenhouse, I plant seeds, um, do all the maintenance, if anything needs to be fixed I work on that. As a Green Cardinal we participated, a group of students and I, in a challenge called the Can of Worms, where we were assigned a pound of worms and we fed them over the course of, I believe it was 10 weeks, and we, had, we fed them table scraps and it was just kind of an experiment to see how we could get our worms to compost or table scraps into more of a green program opposed to just throwing them out in the the trash to go to the landfill. So we did things like we blended up our table scraps, mixed them with water, trying to make them a little more slushy for the worms to eat. Um, one of our people um, cooked it to see if they would eat it better if we cooked it. And we tried all kinds of different things mixed together, coffee grounds, eggshells, um, apples. Apples seemed to go really well blended up. So that was our role of the Green Cardinal, just figure out a better way to handle table scraps opposed to the trash can. Um, well, all kinds of stuff. Like, I'm a lot more educated on uh, worms and um, how they live, what they do, what their benefits are. Um, um, getting marketable skills as far as um, being able to function in a greenhouse. Um, uh, I'm, you know, we're learning constantly about bio, you know, bioeconomic reasons to sort of compost materials that, that you get from um, food wastes and so forth and that's marketable as well as uh, environmentally sound so that's kind of neat and uh, I don't know all kinds of stuff learning how to build things I'm learning how to use tools that I didn't know how to use you know that'll come in handy and also I think working with a group really helps you um, I'm, I'm doing a second degree I came back to get more marketable skills and I, I you know I really am so I'm getting um, a bio and a chemistry degree so those, the things from the, the uh, classroom are constantly crossing over from what we're doing here and just, you know, you're constantly becoming more marketable and, yeah, so, and, and working with a group of people it helps you learn, you know, interpersonal and, and leadership skills, which is good too. So. Out here at the greenhouse, I've learned quite a bit, like, for example, the hydroponic units, I, I never knew you could grow, grow plants without soil before, that was kind of interesting to me when I first came out here, and the whole worm vermicomposting, the worm tea, I didn't even know what the heck worm tea was when I came out here and how you can use that as an organic fertilizer and you can cut costs and save money right there. I've learned that it seems extremely easy on the surface but there's a lot more to it and uh, it's definitely been a learning experience for all of us from myself to our chefs in the kitchen uh, to our employees on the floor and but when they've realized why this is important and what we're doing and the impact that this has had on our waste diversion efforts on campus and what that means in the big picture. Uh, we've been able to really create advocates, not only of our employees, but our student employees uh, who then are part of the larger campus community as well. So it's been a learning experience certainly and it's been, uh, we've definitely had our bumps, but we've always set out to make it so that people at other schools and other places across the country can use the same knowledge that we've gained here to make it easier the next time around. Um, we've learned, obviously there's a big push towards moving green right now, 
And we've learned there are a lot of alternate routes opposed to storing things in a trash can. That was kind of the point of this program. So things, it's how effective worms are for compost. That that's good for your house plants. You know, you can promote your garden for your flowers. Also, the the water that comes out as you water the worms to keep everything moist. That's really good fertilizer to use for your house plants. And that's something that people have made into business and become entrepreneurs with. Um, so it that was kind of the point of the program is to learn and develop cleaner ways for the earth and for students to participate. Well, they're learning how economics and science are inextricably linked. It, it, it fundamentally comes down to new job creation. And we're looking ahead at the uh, growth in the food processing industry. You know, that, that industry is it's booming, frankly. And it's projected to continue growing the next several years according to the USDA. And so what the students are learning is how to adopt new technology to what I would call growing food fast. How do we grow a whole lot of fruits and vegetables with the smallest amount of floor space, the smallest amount of electricity and heat, and uh, the least amount of chemicals going into the process. So that's what it's all about. Is how do you link the science with the economics and hopefully in turn make jobs for a new industry. I uh, would love to see us go to zero landfill waste, uh, everything be intercepted into recycling or intercepted into a composting vermiculture type of an activity so that we're not, as a university, as an organization, particularly in dining services, we're not putting products back into the landfill. Uh, what would be very nice is we actually start purchasing products through the greenhouse um, and we're able to get products from the greenhouse so we come 100% full circle so we're actually you know, securing a lot of our produce and those types of items from the greenhouse so we have been successful in getting some herbs and some other things from the greenhouse which has been great but to take that to the next level I think we'll really kind of close the loop and bring it in full circle. Ultimately I'd like to see um, more of this worm vermicomposting, worm tea production using it as fertilizers hopefully on a large scale and taking all the pre-consumer food from the ARFOC and using that to generate uh, fertilizer and then selling the, our vegetables and produce back to the cafeteria, that'd be the ultimate, what I'd like to see come out of this. Well, in the future, I think there's a bright future in the Green Cardinal Initiative. Uh, myself, I know uh, several people are behind it. The economy is behind it. Uh, Grand Home all the way up to the President of the United States uh, is behind going green. So. It's something that is going to be more prevalent, not only now, but in the future. And I think it's a way to revitalize Michigan. And not only Michigan, but uh, the, the country as a whole. So it's definitely one of the answers to uh, bring us out of the economic slump that we're in currently.